Magandang araw, ako pong muli si Imelda B. De Guzman at ang topic ko ngayon is about factoring difference of two squares. Ito yung nasa module natin ng week 1. Open your module on page 7. Before we go on with our lesson, let us first have a review. So we're going to multiply the sum and difference of two terms. Okay. So, nakikita ninyo ang ating example dito is quantity A plus B times quantity A minus B. Ito yung nakaraan natin ginawa tungkol sa special product of sum and difference of two terms. Okay, so paano nga ba natin kinukuha ang product nito? Okay, so nakikita niyo yung mga guhit ko. Okay, ipagmumultiply lang natin ang first terms. Para makuha natin yung a squared. So, a times a is equal to a squared. And i-multiply naman natin yung dalawang second term. So, we have positive b times negative b is equal to negative b squared. Okay, ang tawag sa product natin na a squared minus b squared is difference of 2 squares. Next, our given is quantity 3x plus 5y times quantity 3x minus 5y. Let us get the product. Paano nakuha yung 9x squared minus 25y squared? Sundan ang mga, ang mga lines na aking ginawa. Okay, so i-multiply natin ang parehong first terms. So we have 3x times 3x is equal to 9x squared. At i-multiply naman yung parehong second terms. So, positive 5y times negative 5y is equal to negative 25y squared. So, ang ating product is 9x squared minus 25y squared. So, laging tatandaan, pag ang given natin is sum and difference of two terms, ang tawag natin sa ating product is difference of two squares. Okay, so ang uh, magpapatuloy na tayo sa ating lesson it is factoring difference of two squares so laging tandaan factoring is the inverse process of multiplication okay tingnan muna natin kung paano hinahanap yung perfect squares at yung finding the square roots okay doon sa ating first column makikita nyo dyan is yung mga number na pinagmumultiply so, 1 times 1 is equal to 1. So, 1 is a perfect square. So, bakit siya tinawag na perfect square? Kasi minultiply siya sa kanyang sarili. So, parang pag sinulat natin 1 times 1, it is equivalent to 1 squared. So, ang tawag sa sagot is perfect square. So, para makuha naman ang square root, Nang 1, iisipin natin yung number na pinagmultiply -multi pinag sa kanyang sarili, ang sagot ay 1. Anong number yun? Okay, 1. So, ibig sabihin, ang square root of 1 is 1. Next, 2 times 2 is equal to 4. So, 4 is a perfect square. So, to find the square root of 4, isipin natin yung number na pag minultiply sa kanyang sarili, ang sagot ay 4. So, anong number yon? So, 2. So, square root of 4 is 2. So, 3 times 3 is equal to 9. 9 is a perfect square. To find the square root of 9, isip tayo ng number na pag minultiply sa kanyang sarili, 9 ang sagot. Okay. So, square root of 9 is equal to 3. So, 4 times 4 is equal to 16. 16 is a perfect square. So, square root of 16 is 4. 8 times 8 is equal to 64. Then, the square root of 64 is equal to 8. Madali lang, di ba? So, laging tatandaan yan ha. Gagamitin natin yan sa ating mga pag-aaral. Okay, this time, ang given naman natin ay literal coefficients. Okay, so, quantity x times x is equal to x squared. So, paano nga nagmumultiply? Nang polynomials. Okay. So, we're going to copy the base and add the exponent. So, wala kayo nakikita na exponent dyan, pero meron dyang imaginary na 1. So, 1 plus 1 is 2. So, e, ang ating sagot is x squared. So, x squared is a perfect square. 
Okay. So, ngayon, paro, paano makuha ang square root ng x squared? So, i-divide lang natin yung ating exponent sa 2. So, 2 divided by 2 is 1. So, ang square root of x squared is equal to x. Next, we have x squared times x squared. So, that is equivalent to x to the 4th power. So, the square root of x to the 4th power, i-divide natin sa, four, sa 2 yung 4. So, 4 divided by 2 is equal to 2. So, our, the square root of x to the 4th power is x squared. Next, we have x cubed times x cubed. So, uh, copy the base and add the exponent. So, 3 plus 3 is equal to 6. So, our answer is x to the 6th power. So, x to the 6th power is a perfect square. So, we're going to divide 6 by 2 para makuha natin ang square root. So, 6 divided by 2 is 3. So, we have the square root of x to the 6th is equal to x cubed. Okay? So, dito na tayo sa ating uh, lesson. Factoring difference of 2 squares. So, ba ang difference of 2 squares, ito yung sagot sa sum and difference of 2 terms. So, ibig sabihin, gagawin natin siya ng kabaligtaran. So, yung multiplication at factoring ay magkabaligtad. So, factoring is the inverse process of multiplication. So, ang ating example, ang ating given is a squared minus b squared. So, bakit tinawag na difference of two squares yan? ba yung ating first term ay perfect square. At yung ating second term is also a perfect square. At ang nakikita nyo yung sign is minus. So, kaya yan ay difference of two squares. Okay, lagi nyo tatandaan, meron lang tayong pattern. Titingnan nyo lang ang pattern para madali nyo makuha ang sagot. So, lagi tandaan, pag ganyan ang itsura o yung pag ganyan ang ating given, sundan lang kung ano yung ating gagawin ngayon. Okay? So, una, susulat muna tayo ng dalawang set ng parentheses. So, ibig sabihin, ang ating factors ay i-express natin as product of two binomials. Okay? So, kaya meron tayong dalawang uh, parentheses dyan. Okay, next, isusulat ang positive at negative. Okay? So, ganyan lagi ang magiging sign. Okay? Tandaan nyo yan. Okay, sumulan na natin ang pagpa-factor. So, kunin natin ang square root ng first term. So, ang square root of a squared is a. Okay, so, ibig sabihin, i-divide natin yung ating exponent sa 2. So, 2 divided by 2 is 1, kaya ang ating sagot is a. Tapos, isusulat natin yung ating sagot doon sa magkabilang parentheses. So, ang magiging first term natin is a. Nasundan ba ninyo? Yan. Okay, next. Square root of the second term. Yung b squared. So, divide natin sa 2 yung exponent. So, it is equal to 1. So, square root of b squared is equal to b. So, sulat ulit natin sa magkabilang parentheses. So, b at b sa kabila rin. Okay? Nakita ninyo? Okay, ganyan lang kasimple ang pagkuha ng difference, ng factoring na difference of two squares. Okay? Laging tandaan, ang factor ng difference of two squares is sum and difference of two terms. Magkabalik, di ba? Okay, next given natin is 9x squared minus 25y squared. Okay, so, yan pa rin ay difference of two squares. Yung first term natin is a perfect square at ang second term is a perfect square. So, i-express natin ang ating factors as two binomials. Okay, kaya meron tayong dalawang parentheses. Ganyan lagi ang gagawin, ha? Okay, sulat ang plus at minus sa magkabilang parentheses. Next, Gawin na natin ang pagpa-factor. So, kunin natin ang 
square root ng first term. So, square root of 9 is 3. Square root of x squared is x. So, ang, is ang isusulat natin sa bawat parenthesis ay 3x. Okay? Next, kunin natin ang square root ng second term. 25 is 5. And square root of y squared is y. So, isulat natin ulit. Okay, so we have 5y. Nasundan ba ninyo? Okay, ulit-ulitin lang yan. Tingnan mabuti at pakinggan itong aking lesson. So, anong tawag natin sa ating factors? Sum and difference of two terms. Okay? Okay. So, another example, quantity, A plus B squared minus 25. Okay, pasensya na, may nakasulat na kagad na A plus B doon. Okay, ganito ang gagawin dyan. So, hindi siya kagaya nung nauna nating mga examples. So, napansin ninyo, ang ating first term ay binubuo ng dalawang terms. Okay, at ang ating second term ay number. Okay, so perfect square, sila pareho. Okay, ngayon, Ang gagawin natin is kagaya rin ang ginawa natin. Gagawa tayo, pero this time, ang gagawin natin is bracket kasi meron na tayong parenthesis na nauna. Okay? So, mayroon din tayong plus at minus. Kunin ang square root ng first term. So, quantity A plus B raised to the second power, i-divide yung, yung exponent sa 2, it will become A plus B. So, meron na tayong A plus B doon sa taas. At A plus B doon sa kabila. Okay, next. Kunin naman natin yung square root ng second term. Square root of 25 is 5. Okay, sulat so natin yung 5 sa kabila at yung 5 doon naman sa kabila. So, yan ang ating uh, initial answer. Kasi isisimplify pa natin yan. So, lagi tandaan ang sagot natin sa difference of two squares is sum and difference of two terms. So, pag sinimplify natin yan, ay ibig sabihin, i-remove na natin yung mga brackets. Okay? So, pag sinimplify natin, isusulat natin yan as quantity A plus B plus 5 times quantity A plus B minus 5. Okay? So, class, napakadali lang na ating lesson. Ang gagawin nyo lang is, Ulit-ulitin ang pakikinig at panonood dito sa aking video tutorial upang sa ganun ay makuha ninyo ng, ng uh, maayos ang ating lesson. So, maglaging magpa-practice ng mga exercises at ng maging bihasang sa pagsasagot. Okay? So, sundan ulit, mag-subscribe and like ang aking video para maging updated sa next video. Okay, goodbye class!